Nice. Ooh. Oh, power dive. <laughs> oh, they are feisty. This one slammed that Tui Chub fly. Oh, he's nice. Not as big as the other one, but he's plenty big. Oh, what a battler. <laughs> there we go. Well, he smashed that fly. What a beautiful rainbow. Nice fish. 16, 17 inches long, probably. Just a beautiful trout. <laughs> I am stoked. Look at those big beautiful rainbows. That's what trolling flies can do. You think trolling flies don't work? Well think again. You need to grab a set of my trolling flies, get out on the water, and get ready to go big. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. I'm coming to you today with a viewer question. Johnny King down in Vallejo, California, he asked me what kind of line and what line test I use when I'm targeting trout and landlocked salmon. And uh, you know, that's pretty simple stuff. Here's my spinning rod. I use this rod in streams and I also use this rod in my kayak when I want to just flip a lure out and top line with it. On my spinning rods, um, I use eight pound test. I either use, um, like copolymer mono, that's what I use in streams, and I'll, I'll use a, a fluorocarbon leader on that. Um, when I'm trolling out of the kayak, just to kind of save time, I'll, I'll spool up with eight pound test fluorocarbon. I use the top knot fluorocarbon from Yozuri. Um, I found that, that to be economical, extremely tough, very reliable. That's why I choose that line. And you know me, I'm always thinking big fish. I don't always catch big fish, but I always want to be in a position to, to land big fish. And that's why I go with the Yozuri line. That's also why I go with eight pound test on a spinning rod. I could get by with six, I could get by with four, but eight to me offers me the best of both worlds. It's light enough to cast with, but it's strong enough to land a really big fish. And if I'm fishing in a creek, I might be dealing with a fish that's running through white water, hitting rocks, hitting sticks, stuff like that. When I'm lake trolling or lake casting, you know, most of the fish I catch are pan size, but the next bite, it might be an eight pound brown. It might be a 10 pound brown. It might be a double digit Mackinac. And that eight pound test, it's, it's my insurance policy. It's, uh, it just gives me that little, little bit of extra ability to land big fish in adverse conditions. So let's move on to trolling tackle. This is my standard either top lining or downrigger version. I've got it spooled up with fluorocarbon line, um, spooled up with 10 pound Yozuri top knot fluorocarbon. And uh, I take that down to a trolling swivel and off of that swivel, I'm either gonna run an eight pound fluorocarbon leader or a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, depending on where I'm fishing and the size of the fish I'm targeting and, 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 and what type of stuff I'm pulling. If I'm pulling a big dodger or something like that, well, I'm gonna snap that right on that trolling, trolling snap up there. But behind that, I'm gonna go with 10 pound test leader material. If I'm running big tackle, looking for big fish, I want to have 10 pound throughout the entire rig. Sometimes I even go heavier on, on the leader. Not so much to fight the fish, but to impart action between a dodger and a, and a bulky bait behind the dodger. The heavier line, the heavier fluorocarbon is stiffer and you'll get more action transmitted to the bait from the dodger if you use heavier, stiffer line. That's a good tip. I've talked about that on the channel before. But anyway, 10 pound test on my trolling rods eight pound test on my spinning rods and that gives me a lot of peace of mind with this rod right here with 10 pound test on it i could go down to the delta and i could land a you know 12 15 even a 20 pound striper with that rig provided he doesn't you know get me tangled in a tree or something like that it's always nice to know you have the tackle to land big fish Big fish don't come knocking every day, but when they do, the last thing you want to do is lose them because you're using too light a gear. Set yourself up for success. Eight pound on the spinning rods, 10 pound on the trolling stuff, and uh, 
Take it from me, you won't have any regrets when that big fish comes, grabs your bait, and takes off. Anyway, those are just my thoughts online. I hope you found that helpful. I'll be right back here on YouTube real soon. If you haven't had a chance to hit that subscribe button, please subscribe to the channel. If you have, hey, thanks for the support. There wouldn't be a Fish Hunt Shoot uh, YouTube channel without you folks. So thanks a lot. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off. I'll catch you later.